What we think about less in the West, because it doesn't affect us, is the fact that a billion people on Earth have no access to primary electricity. They're going to get it in the next 20 or 25 years. Uh, that's going to require a ton of copper, metaphorically, many tons of copper. Copper for generation, copper for transmission, copper once the wire reaches the home for utilization. Uh, copper demand uh, is insured for a very long time, uh, and copper supply will be short, irrespective of the gold price. The impact of inflation on copper needs to be considered too. Uh, we are going to have to build a lot of copper mines in the next 15 years. And the cost of developing those copper mines, at least in nominal U.S. dollar terms, isn't going to go up. It's going to explode. What is today a $7 billion or $8 billion upfront capital expense to build a South American porphyry is going to become in very short order a $10 or $12 or $14 billion upfront capital expense. That means that existing long-lived producing assets are worth much more than people think they are because you obviate the necessary the necessity of the upfront capital cost.